This is the world's largest imaging study, 62,000 scans on how the brain ages. I am very worried. Marijuana is in. That it's very in, my It's friend. in. I published a study on a thousand marijuana users. Mm. Every area of their brain is lower in activity. Oof. Now, does help some people, like when my father and what? What does it actually help with? It helps increase appetite. For some people, it can actually decrease seizure frequency. Mm. It, it suppresses activity in the brain. I, I'm very worried because as the perception of dangerousness of a drug goes down, yeah. its use goes up, especially in teenagers. Right. And if you're smoking or eating edibles, as a teenager, you've just increased your risk of anxiety, depression, and suicide in your 20s. Oof. So that's, it's not good. You know, all child psychiatrists, I'm also a child psychiatrist, have the experience of all of a sudden the 16-year-old is not acting right, and we test them and they end up positive for marijuana, mm -hmm. that it's not innocuous. Right. And, and I think that's the important thing. Now, is it worse than alcohol? Well, actually, I published a study on 62,000. This is the world's largest imaging study. 62,000 scans on how the brain ages. And then we looked at what accelerated aging. Schizophrenia was the worst. Your brain looked 10 years older than people who didn't have schizophrenia. The second worst, and it was a surprise for me, was marijuana. Your brain- Worse than alcohol. Worse than alcohol, worse than smoking. What? Yeah. I am startled by that. Yeah, I was too, and it's like, it's the data, and wow. I have no dog in the fight, right? If you smoke, if wow. you don't smoke, you're just actually more likely to see me if you do. Is it lowering blood flow? Like, it's what's lowering the mechanism? blood flow to brain. 